I would like to welcome our director of uh, International Excellence Forum, Mr. Azam Ghani. Good afternoon, everybody. So first of all, I want to thank you all for making these two days wonderful. So I would quickly summarize what actually happened in the past two days. So if we start with the, the opening remarks, so Dr. Masood Wakili introduced uh, the World Litigation Forum, and then he discussed the litigation issues uh, of the Oracle and you know, Sun Microsystem when Oracle purchased the Sun Microsystem. Then Maria Teresa shared... Uh, set the conference theme and uh, she discussed about the risk involved in choosing the jurisdiction and risk in choosing the outside counsel but you know we had the counter results as well so that was resolved and in the session uh, one abhijit you know shared the bad side of dispute arbitration and litigation and he, he talked very important thing about the dispute resolution policy so his policy of uh, contain, uh, you know, avoid litigation and pick up the body language of the other guy. So if he's responding to that, so if, if you think that, you know, there is a dispute, you can sense the dispute, then think about the policy again, go and check the policy, what exactly there in the policy. And then Ibrahim talk about the litigation risk is in the emerging economies and, and reasons for increasing risk in the recent time. And again, the Maria, Teresa, discuss about the strategies uh, should be developed in-house. Those, uh, you know, you can work with the external councils, but the strategies uh, should actually be developed in-house. And there were suggestions as well from Maria for the outside councils. Then in session two, Alicia talked about the jurisdiction as the one of the important part of the contract. So as Maria previously said that, you know, jurisdiction uh, is critical, it's a risk factor, so Alicia gave the solution that, you know, you just talk about the jurisdiction in the contract itself so that, uh, you know, you do not have much risk in that. And then, again, she, she gave a very important input about the child approach, you know, while negotiating. So it's like insist, insist, insist till you get what you want. And Virginia talked about uh, the... Mathematical formula, I mean, she said, that, is there any mathematical formula for the managing the litigation? No, there isn't any. There is no mathematical formula. There is no mathematical approach. And, you know, about the, uh, we should find a balance about it. You know, whenever there is a contract, uh, you know, we, we might have a lengthy or short contract. It should not be too lengthy. It should not be too short. And, you know, we should think about it. You know, what kind of a contract it is. Is it buying or selling? She talked about this, and then Roya gave the perspective of the buyers, you know, while talking about the contract. In session three, Richard Berry talked about the patent litigations, and he, he talked about the box kite example, uh, wherein uh, the litigation happened over there when the aeroplane was kind of being invented. And then Creed Jawali talked about... Uh, the Indian patent system, he, he talked about the recent changes by the government of India, which includes the Digital, digital India and Make in India campaign. And he, he talked about the conducive environment uh, in the India, which is you know, conducive for the investment these days. And in session four, we talked about the safe harbor, privacy shield. Safe harbor is invalidated now and Privacy Shield has the uncertain future. Then uh, Gail talked about the solutions uh, after the post harbor. And Alfred talked about the data protection in the educational industry. And in session five, Carlo talked about the alternate dispute resolutions, including the conciliation, mediation, and arbitration. And Maria talked about the dispute resolution practices in Russia. Tom also talked about the practices and procedures for arbitration in India. And he said that there is no presence of uh, international law firms in India, which is, I guess, true. And then uh, the, the solution to that is that, you know, you collaborate with the local law firms in India. In session six, uh, David talked about uh, 
managing your clients and avoid conflict. So to avoid conflict, uh, he gives certain inputs like, you know, you should empathize, or you should build trust and compliance, etc. And then David talked about, uh, David Sugin talked about how to protect your reputation during litigation. And he gave uh, very important inputs on how to handle the media. And he also gave the five-step approach for managing the reputation and litigation. And seven, Hugh talked about the automated legal services. And he said that this automated legal service is helping in reducing the cost. And the market is very uh, small as of now, but it is growing as of now it is a uh, uh, $135 million market. And Kara talked about the impact of technology in the legal research, e-discovery, and document. And contrary to the huge industry, the Kara said that uh, her industry is uh, uh, large and growing. It's $10 billion business right now. So in session eight, we, uh, we talk about uh, the governance, compliance, and ethical legislative. It was just you know uh, before this one. So in, in all, we had a very wonderful two days, and I personally want to thank everyone, every speaker, every delegate for making this successful. And I know that there was the first conference, but uh, you know we got wonderful support from you guys. Thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you in our next conferences in Dubai. Thank you.